In this video, I'll be covering the six best ways to get customer feedback online. You know, customer feedback is an incredibly important part of any marketing strategy. Getting feedback from real customers can help you grow your business and make more money. It's the best way to be sure that your customers like your products, your services, your site, and your content. How do you go about getting that feedback? So let's look at six strategies that you can use to collect customer feedback so you can grow your business. With a website feedback tool, you can easily ask for real verbatim feedback from your website visitors in real time. You can use it to ask specific questions or let users provide feedback on any topic. Our favorite website feedback tool is the user feedback plugin for WordPress. With user feedback, you can quickly and easily create a pop-up feedback survey on your site. The best way to use website feedback tools effectively is to ask questions that will help you gather actionable insights to improve your website or customer experience. For instance, if you run an e-commerce business, ask if the customer is able to find what they're looking for or if there were issues with checkout or what new products that they'd like to see in your shop. And you'll want to be strategic with the placement too. So you'll want to choose specific pages to place your surveys on. For example, you could place a survey asking questions that are relevant to the article that they're reading. To learn more, just check out the link in the description to how to collect user feedback in WordPress. Online surveys are one of the most effective ways to gather customer feedback. WP Forms and User Feedback make it easy to create, distribute, and analyze the responses that you get from your surveys. You can place your surveys in pop-ups, widgets, or your website's pages and ask questions about your products, your content, or user experience. Now, you'll want to keep your surveys short and to the point, focusing on the most important questions. Next, you may want to offer visitors a small incentive, such as a discount or something downloadable for completing your survey. And you'll need to be sure to use clear, simple language, so keep things as simple as you can. For more information about how to create online surveys with WP Forms and user feedback, be sure to check out the link in the description on how to create a survey in WordPress step-by-step. -step. Email is another effective channel to use when asking for customer feedback. Not only can you send surveys out to your email subscribers through targeted email messages, but you can also send them as a follow-up when a customer makes a purchase or interacts with your business. The best way to use email for customer feedback is to write a simple explanation of why you're using this survey, why this person is receiving it, and then make the call-out button or the link to that survey the focus of the email. Remember, if you're sending a survey after a customer interacts with your business, you need to send a reply email right away while their experience is still fresh in their mind. And you'll also want to personalize and segment your email surveys so customers will be more likely to respond. If you'd like to know more about how to get started with email, then be sure to read our article on the best email newsletter tools and services. I'll leave a link in the description. Text message surveys are a quick and effective way to gather customer feedback because you can reach people right on their phone. Now, if you're going to use text message surveys, you'll want to keep your messages short. Be sure to address your recipients by name and respond immediately with a thank you after they complete the survey. And to keep track of how many people are coming to your site as a result of those messages, you'll want to use Google Analytics. So be sure to check out how to track your SMS campaigns in Google Analytics. There's a link in the description. Exit intent pop-ups are another great way to get customer feedback. Now, these are pop-ups that appear when a user is about ready to leave your site. It's one of the best times to ask for feedback. So you could ask if they were able to find what they needed, or you could put an exit intent pop-up on your pricing page or card page and ask them what kept them from making a purchase. Opt-in Monster is the best tool for that. Just make sure that you use exit pop-up surveys on pages that make sense, like when someone's about ready to leave a card, product, or a guide page. Now, you might also want to consider offering them a discount or enter them in a giveaway or other incentive. Just be sure to keep it very short. Most people who are about ready to leave your site aren't interested in taking a very long survey. So only ask a couple of questions. For more on pop-ups, check out the link in the description on how to add a pop-up on WordPress, two easy ways. Social media is a powerful tool for gathering customer feedback. It provides a direct line of communication between businesses and their customers. By monitoring your social media channels, you can quickly find and address customer issues, complaints, and suggestions. Now, if you're going to use social media to get customer feedback, then 
You'll want to set up alerts for brand mentions, keywords, and hashtags that are related to your business. Then, be sure to respond quickly and professionally and show your commitment to customer service and satisfaction by resolving issues quickly. And remember that you don't have to wait for feedback to come in on social media. You can ask for it at any time. You can post your survey questions to your followers as polls, links to surveys, or just simple questions. All right, you've gathered customer feedback, so how do you keep track of it and use it to improve your business? Well, you can use it to improve your existing products or figure out what products your store is missing if a lot of people are asking the same question, wanting the same item, or experiencing the same issue, then you can address it quickly. And you can identify the top reasons why people are leaving your site and not making purchases, and then take the steps to fix those issues. Plus, you can easily use feedback to decide what to put on sale, what kind of messaging to use in your next email campaign, and a lot more. And there you have it in just a few steps. Now you know how to get customer feedback online. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.